So, how's it? And welcome to my podcast. My name is Sally, and I am Will Diaries on Instagram and on Ravelry. And on Ravelry, there is a group for the podcast called the Will Diaries Podcast Group. That's it. Easy peasy, Japanesey. Today is the 29th of September, and I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to record, actually, because, um, yeah, all the things. The boys finish school tomorrow, so, as always, at the end of the term, you are hectically busy, because everybody wants to do everything before holidays. We don't have a long holiday, it's more of a spring break, because it's only actually a week. But it signifies the end of the term. I sort of forgot to weave in an end. It signifies the end of the third term for us. And when they go back on the 10th of October, the fourth term starts, which is all about end of year exams. Yeah! Not... Um, what else can I tell you that's been going on? Not much, eh? Not much. This is going to be a very quick podcast today. Um, like I said, I've got a, um, Deacon's got a, it's called the Melting Pot at School. Um, what they've done is a whole load of his subjects have combined and they've had to, come up with their own menu, they've been for, during school, they've been for cooking lessons, which they've absolutely loved, Um, they even went for a spice making lesson, Um, and not a seasoning, not not a herb, an actual spice making session, so they made the spices and then they got to blend their own um, spice. Um, what else? Oh, okay, so it's incorporated a whole load of their subjects. And today is the culmination of it. They've got to build their stand. They've got to, um, they've done a business proposal, a small business proposal, which is uh, for EMS, Economic Management um, Sciences. They've done, um, the building of the stand. They've done woodwork and they've done, um, some metal work as well. That was all in technology. Then they've done, um, I'm just trying to think what else, what other ones. Oh, the kids that do Hebrew and the, um, not Hebrew, I'm lying. The kids that do Hellenic studies and they do Jewish studies and they do, I think it's Zulu studies. I know it's one of the other ones. And French. They've all been doing, um, stuff regarding the food and they've all busy they've all been learning how to make um dishes traditional dishes from their in their culture and um so today what's going to happen is they've got the there's chefs coming to school and the chefs are all coming to assist from the hotel school they're all coming to assist the kids to make the um, dishes that they've chosen that represent them as a culture. I have no idea what Deacon's chosen. I'm actually a little bit nervous. If you don't know, Deacon is the most pickiest child you, you have ever known. Seriously, you, no, really, you have no idea. Uh, at one stage, he would only eat two things, and that was milk and cereal. He is a bit better now, but yes, he was. He is like the most pickiest child. Um, so I don't know what he's chosen. Also, which one he's chosen? Has he chosen um, my nationality, so, um, British, or has he chosen our nationality as a family, which is South African? I don't know what he's chosen. So you also won't tell me. Um, they also doing a drink, and I know he's doing. I think it's called an Arizona sunset. So not South African. So not British. I'm a bit concerned. I think it's called that, that he's chosen to do. It's got tequila in it. Anyway, I'm sure they're doing um, a virgin one. Fingers crossed. Otherwise, my son will be known as the person who gets them all drunk. Um, 
so I've got a where um they're doing that and then at half past ten the parents are invited to come and um view the view the stands, view the business proposals, view the um Business proposals were quite intense. They had to do menus. They had to um, do financial planning. They had to write. Um, it was like a proper business um, proposal. They were given a lot of assistance by the EMS teacher. They were given a lot of assistance by the um, social science teacher as well. Um, your grade six is where it's all at, boy, because tomorrow, which is the last day, the grade six are holding elections. So what they've been doing in social science mainly is they've been, they formed political parties and they had campaigns and they had to choose a um, theme for their campaign within their party they had to nominate a um, a candidate that they were going to all support uh, Deacon didn't get chosen but then Deacon didn't want to get chosen he chose um, his um, <laughs> there's no surprise here for everybody who knows me no homework <laughs> his cause was no homework and how to achieve no homework just not no homework he had to then say okay how if he got elected how would he achieve no homework so tomorrow the school then votes. It's not real. They don't get anything. That it's just for for glory. Um, so tomorrow uh, they had they had class elections, and um, each class voted for the the parties within the class. They had to do their whole um, presentation as a as a as a party to the class. Like um, I want to say it's like a manifesto but I don't know if that's the right word that they had to put together for the party outlining what their goals are how they're going to achieve them they had to do this big presentation to the class that was two weeks ago and now since then they've been lobbying the rest of the school so the winners from the class are now going to um, go up against each other so there's five classes, so we've got five political parties that are all rallying for the school's vote. And then tomorrow, the class, the rest of the school, not the grade sixes, the rest of the school will then go and vote for the party that they think is going to win. So, it, 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 I mean, that even though it's just for glory and there's no outcome, these grade sixes have taken it very seriously. I am floored at how um, serious these grade sixes have taken. If I think about when Matthew did it in grade six, I hardly even knew it was going on. But with Deacon, he's a rather intense child. He takes everything very seriously. Very seriously. Can't make a joke with that child. He's very serious. Um, so, yes, today and tomorrow is all, all it. Uh, <laughs> Like there wasn't enough. Tomorrow is also grade 6 PE day, which means they play all the sports against each other classes. And it is to see which class gets the grade 6 sport trophy. Now, also, if you know Deacon, Deacon don't do sport. <laughs> Deacon don't do sport. Now, squat. He's like the sloth of the family. If um, he actually has an allergic reaction to sport. <laughs> God is, hates it, absolutely hates it. He's the child who, even though he can swim, looks like he's drowning in the swimming pool so he doesn't get chosen for, for the swimming team. So anyway, it'll be interesting. He's been nagging me. He doesn't want to go, but he does want to go for the voting and he can't go for, he can't go for one without the other. So we'll see. Tomorrow is a nochadach. Tomorrow is another day. That was actually quite a lot of waffle for somebody who said she didn't have a lot of waffle. Um, it's all about grade 6 tomorrow. Grade 6 here in South Africa is 11 turning 12. That's what grade 6 in South Africa is. Matthew's in grade 10 and it is 15 turning 16. However, Matthew's 17 because he repeats it a year. Let's get on to some knitting. 
Um, I finished on last week Thursday. I was so annoyed with myself after I uploaded. I was like, really, you could have just actually sat in bed and finished those and then recorded a bit later. So I did actually finish my other sock. So I have a pair of socks. These are Regia. They're self-striping. Um, it's, it's a Monaco. It's a part of the Monaco series. Um, I used the outside of the ball for the heels, the fish lips kiss heels, which is why they are different. They are different. I don't know if you can see the stripe sequences are different on them. One goes one way and the other one goes the other way, and that's fine by me because that means my OCD doesn't have a problem with it. Well, my, my twitchy brain doesn't have a problem with it. I'm not diagnosed as OCD. I just pretend I am. Um... I did them on 2.25 millimeter needles. Like I said, it's a Regia. Um, I did the rounded toe by Tanya Murphy or Murray. Murray, I think. Then I do my normal foot. I do the fish lips heel by the sock therapist. And then I do my foot the same length. I mean, my leg the same length as my foot. And then I do 20 rounds of ribbing at the top. And that is my sock, my cosa. My boobs. So I finished these on Thursday actually. And then felt very sorry for myself because I really hurt my shoulder. I overdid it. And then I did nothing else for the rest of the day because of it. Well, no knitting. I wish I did nothing else for the rest of the day. <laughs> if only. Then, um, what is today? Thursday. Yes, Tuesday, I finished the test shawl that I was knitting for Sarah. And it's called the Invaders of the Heart. And it's blocked. I was cutting off the ends. I wove in the ends as I went because no hair tangles. So you don't want these ends hanging off, off of it because it tangles with everything else. So I did show you last week, I don't know where I was, but I am now finished. So I did it out of two nurturing fibers. This one is called Storm, and this one was Sky, the light blue is Sky. Ooh, okay, that one is Sky. And then I used some Shibui um, Mohair, and I don't have the name because we didn't get given a, a full skein. It was part of the Hill Country Weavers Retreat. I got two half skeins of Shibui Mohair to do, it's called Shibui Cloud, to do a pattern with, but I think I love it more in this. Okay, so we have, and I don't think you saw it in all its epicness last time because it was all scrunched up on a needle. So we have all the short row gorgeousness. Oh, and then look, oh, it gets better and better. Look at all these awesome points off the end. Oh my goodness, how much do I love this? So much, so much, so much. It is actually bigger than I thought it was. You know when you block it, well, first of all, when I blocked it, I was like, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. But I do love it the way it is. I'm not too sure. I don't know when the pattern is going to be released, but it's called Invaders of the Heart. And it's by Sarah Rush, Rash, which is Orange Jellyfish Dreams. And she dyes yarn and she makes amazing patterns. I'm waiting for the next one. She's got a collection coming out. If you go look on her Instagram feed, it's too hot today, but anyway. If you go look on her Instagram feed, you'll see the next one coming. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I ran out of mohair because, like I said, I wasn't using a full skein. Um, so I did a bit of modification. Um, it's supposed to be there. It's supposed to be four rows of the mohair or lace weights or fingering weight. But I think it really needs to be lace weight or mohair. And then you do one row of each of them and then you do a very, very long bind off. I call bind off. I love that I call bind off, but holy baloney, does it take a long time? I do, however, find it quicker than pico bind off. Um, 
So what I did was, because then I was a row short, I did um, one row of, this is, the sky was color B, and then I did two rows of the storm, and then I did one more row, row of the B, which is sky, and then you cross off with the, with the, with with the color A, which for me was Storm. And if you actually look at my eye cord, you see it's striped. I love that. Where's the long section? I think the long sections are wrapped around my neck. Hold on. I absolutely love the way it's striped. I don't know if you can see there's... And then it goes down to blue again, and then it's striped. It's, striped. it's gorgeous! And I didn't tell you, today is... 10 to 26, which is 50 to 79. Now, it is overcast. It's a bit cooler today. But, oh, my hairy new nose. It has been warm. It has been warm. But 26 is still warm enough. 26 is still warm enough. For me to kick my older son out of bed at half past four this morning. And he must go swim. <laughs> I'm so evil. He signed up. So I finished this on Tuesday. I then, I can't even blame Sparky, it's far too long. <sighs> um, I then blocked it yesterday. And I was cutting off the ends. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Sarah needs to hurry up with the next one. So I need to test it to all the things. And I love the use of mohair in this. I never thought I would enjoy knitting mohair as much as I enjoyed it. They look as difficult. It's stubborn to get it onto the needles. Then once it's on the needles, all it wants to do is fly off the end. You really have to concentrate. It's not no looking knitting when you're knitting with mohair. It's definitely you've got to be knitting. I mean looking when you're knitting with mohair. That's for flipping sure. So then yesterday, I had nothing on the needles, and um, I want a quick project because West Knits Mystery Knit Along starts on the 7th of October. So I don't want something else new at the same time. I would prefer, and, and I've got what... A week and a bit before that one comes out. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to start the the quill shawl, which is the first shawl in the um, shawl society from Curious Handmade Helen. Helen, she's Hell's Bells on Ravelry. Helen Stewart. I knew it was Helen something. Helen's shirt. So it's the fourth one. So if you don't want to see, then look away. But this is what it looks like. So it's three colors and it's striped and it's DK weights. And to be 100% honest, last week I told you I purchased yarn for it and I didn't show you. And I had actually started, I actually had crossed it on, but I had frogged it three times. And then yesterday when I pulled it out, I started it another three times and frogged it. And quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn anymore. I'm just knitting this thing, okay? Because I want it. I'm not happy with it, but it, it might grow on me and I might not be so picky about it come the end of it. What I don't like is the way I'm the way my yarns are carrying up on the side. It's nothing to do with the pattern. It's all to do with the knitter. All to do with the knitter. I'm not happy. It's not neat enough. I'm I'm just being very picky. That's what it is. And I cannot tell you why it's not working on this one, but it's worked on all the other striped shawls that I've done. Including the one I'm wearing now. I carried the yarns up the side where I could. Please don't ask me. I because I, I, I don't know. So here's my six seventh cast on. I am actually finally on yarn that I haven't used before. So like new yarn to me because I've re-knit this thing so many times. So there's mine. Mine are 
surprise surprise two grays and a yellow I love it uh, I want I was going to do two grays and a really bright green and I think I might do that for another one that's um, another striped shawl but I do love it now I didn't have DK mustache I, I actually had to go buy but I was on a bit of a budget because um, I had already spent my yarn money for the month so my darling loving husband paid for this and um, he gave me a budget which is fine and I actually was underneath the budget because I eventually ended up buying cheaper yarn than what I had originally I was going to buy something like really relaxed but something that I decided not to so what I landed up buying was three South African yarns all by the same people it's African Expressions Joy and they don't have names they just have colorways so I'm not even going to tell you Joy is a DK which is what this is it is 15% mohair, 40% wool and 45% acrylic but it's so soft and it's so squishy and when you once you've knitted it you cannot even tell it's got any acrylic in it whatsoever it is just gorgeous and it was very cheap it was under budget and I love it and that's what counts Yes, my ends are not woven in yet. I don't like that. That looks messy to me. So I am now, according to the pattern, I've just gone past 10%. Because Helen does um, percentage. So I've just gone past 10%. I'm hoping this will be an FO by next week. I still am one shawl behind in the Shawl Society, which is the very first one that was released. I still have not done that one. The next one, she's released the clue for the yarn. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Good thing is it's fingering weight. I don't know, I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look because it's quite specific what she's asked for. So we'll see. Okay, so I, I love this. I do love that. I love that my yellow is really bright. The, me and uh, her yellow is more like a lemony yellow. I love that mine is like in your face screaming bright. So that's what I am... That's what I have on the needles at the moment. I've mentioned the West Knit Knit Along. You all need to be doing it. Why haven't you? I have chosen my yarns. I'm not going to show you because I reserve the right to change my mind. My yarns are very, uh, that's much thinner than what he he's using. He's using a new hedgehog um, fibers yarn and it's um, a sport weight. I'm using the yarn that I've chosen is a very light fingering weight. So I'm going to wait for the pattern to come out. I'm going to start it. If I don't like it in that weight then I will change yarns. So yeah. It's he's got three sizes as well. Um, he says he's busy knitting another one in the Hedgehog Fiber Singles, which is also light fingering. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, if he shows pictures weekly of that one, and I like the way that one looks, and the gauge is um, not too loose and it doesn't look messy. There's loose and you know like there's loose and airy. And then there's loose and messy. And I don't want the whole thing to look loose and messy. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yes. Don't forget, Socktober is coming next month. I hope you are all um, planning your socks. And Nanny Swamo for November. Sweater month. November. Knit a sweater in a whole month. I'm so on that. 
And then for those who are doing it, the big bad burger long. I just like saying that. That sounds so cool. Big bad burger long. And with that, I'm going to say tootsins. And remember, if you want to see progress on your project, craft on one thing at a time. Tootsins.